What's going on guys? This is Mickey Martin coming at you with a guitar tutorial and today I'm going to teach you Fluff Her Gently by Tenacious D. We're going to say Fluff Her Gently because I don't want this uh, content to get censored in any way. So just like the title says, Fluff Her Gently. Alright, so let me show you this first section we're going to work on. So what we're doing here is we're starting on the 5th fret of the A string and then also barring the 7th fret of the D, G, and B string with our ring finger. And our strumming pattern is going to start off on the A string and then we'll walk down the B, G, and D string. From there we'll come back up to the B string and walk back down again but then come up and end on the G string. So it'll sound like this. And you're gonna wanna get this strumming pattern down because the whole slow portion of the song is gonna be the same strumming pattern. From here, we're gonna come up to the ninth fret of the A string and it's gonna be the same strumming pattern, but our chord is a little bit different. We're in the minor formation, so this will be 9th fret A string, 11th fret D and G string, and then 10th fret on the B string. And like I said, the same strumming pattern. From here, we'll slide down two frets and keep the exact same shape. And then we'll come down to the 5th fret of the low E string and we'll bar it and press the 7th fret on the A string and the 6th fret on the G string. And this one we're just strumming straight through. So starting on the low E string and ending on the B string. And we just strum it through like this on this very first time through because it's the intro of the song. So the whole thing together will sound like this. And then we'll play the exact same thing through again. The only thing different will be that last chord. And what I'm doing here, we're strumming all the way straight through and ending on that G string this time. And then we're going to put our pinky down on the 7th fret of the G string and pull it off to the 6th fret. And then hit our B string. And from here we'll go into sometimes you've got to squeeze, sometimes you've got to say please. And so what we're doing here is we're playing a B minor, which is a bar chord on the 7th fret, with then pressing the 9th fret on the A and the D string. We're strumming, muting, strumming, muting, strumming is our strumming pattern. It sounds like this. Before you move on to the next chord. And that next chord is 10th fret on the A string with then barring the 12th fret on the D, G, and B string with our ring finger. So from here. And then we're going to repeat those two chords um, only for this first time of playing this little chorus section. So two times through. And then slide.
slide the same exact shape down to the fifth fret. So that same first chord we started on. And sometimes you got to say A. And it ends on that A. So bar chord on the fr uh, fifth fret, seventh fret on the A and D string, and then sixth fret on the G string. So from D to an A. I'm gonna fluff you. And then back into that slow portion. And that slow portion is exactly the same as we already learned it, minus that little intro portion. So that second turnaround we learned on that last chord, you'll use both times. And then when we get to the chorus section, it's gonna start off the exact same. And then you say, hey, I brought you flowers. And then you say, wait a minute, Sally. I think I got something in my teeth. Could you get it out for me? That's fluffing teamwork. All right, so what we're doing here is we're starting on the B minor, just like we did before. And going up to the same second chord we learned before too. But then, instead of repeating those two chords, we're gonna slide down to the fifth fret to that same first chord we started on, and then down to our A. And then we're gonna repeat. I think I got something in my teeth. Could you, on, on get it out for me, we're gonna come down to the seventh fret in our minor formation. So that's seventh fret A string, ninth fret D and G, and then eighth fret on the B string, so our E minor, and we're gonna back strum it. Could you get it out for me? And then we'll come down to our A. That's fluffing teamwork. And then we'll go back into the slow section. What's your favorite position? And then for the final portion, so the slow, the slow section again is gonna be exactly the same as we already learned it. And then for the final chorus section, and then I'm gonna bore you completely. And then, and then, and then, but then I'm gonna So you probably recognize that it's pretty similar to the last chorus we learned. So we're going to start on that B minor. And then up to our 10th fret on the A string chord, same second chord. Down to our 5th fret. So it's starting the exact same as that second chorus section we learned. And then we'll repeat it. But then... Fluff is on that E minor. So that's on the seventh fret of the A string, ninth fret D and G with eighth fret on the B string. Fluff you. That's down to our A, so a fifth fret bar chord, seventh fret A and D string with eighth, or sorry, sixth fret on the G string. So I'm gonna fluff you hard, and it comes down to a C. To a G, to our D. So let me slow this section down. So a C chord, third fret on the A string, second on the D, and first fret on the B string. And the strumming pattern is so just pretty straight with a beat. And that G chord. 3rd fret on the low E, 2nd fret on the A, and then 3rd fret on the B and high E strings. So, And then to our D. So that's 2nd fret on the high E, 3rd fret on the B, and 2nd fret on the G string. And we're pretty much just skipping that low E. I'm, I think I might even be skipping the A. No, I'm hitting the A a little bit. And then we're going to lay our pinky down on the third fret of the high E string and pull it off to the second fret of the high E string. So, 
and then hit the B string and the G string. And then we're going to come to a B flat. So that's first fret on the A string, and then we're barring the third fret of the D, G, and B string with our ring finger. And it's pretty similar strumming pattern to our C, G, and D. holding that same shape. So we're starting on the first fret, sliding up to the third fret, and sliding up to the fifth fret. And with those last three chords, and you could even end on a normal D, because it just sounds just a little more pleasing to the ear than all this barred, out of intonation madness on your cheap acoustic guitar. If you have a really poorly intonated guitar, the closer you play to the nut, the better it's gonna sound. Listen to that compared to this. Compared to this. Ugh. Ugh. But anyway, that's the whole song right there. I appreciate you guys watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like down below and also consider subscribing to the channel right up over here because I do a ton of guitar tutorials, a ton of Tenacious D guitar tutorials, as well as other music and studio content. You guys take it easy out there. Peace. Peace. Peace.